Hello, it's me again. It's Deanna Carroll with Ivy Creates. Today we're going to do some Halloween decor that is going to be very, very inexpensive. Most of it comes from the Dollar Tree. Probably all of it comes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm really hoping that you'll enjoy this really cool, quick, very fast craft. Um, so I have three pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree and they had them listed as carvable pumpkins and it turns out that it is hollow inside and white on the inside as well so I mean it's it's not real thick but it's just thick enough to hold up to be somewhat sturdy but I thought that was really cool because there are so many things you can do with a carvable pumpkin and you could put LED lights inside you could carve out his face and all that kind of stuff but I'm not gonna worry about that because I use my pumpkins for multiple projects so I really do not want to be carving into him if I can help it so I set the one that I carved the top out of and I set that upside down and I took the tops uh, the little stem off of these two pumpkins and they're all three the same size so I took the stems off of them and I did line them up. I lined up the seams on the side. Just, I don't know why. It's just me, I guess. And then I'm going to glue them together with my glue gun. And it um, doesn't take that long to get them glued together. And they hold up surprisingly well. Because a lot of foam, a lot of times, will melt under a glue gun and just disappear. But this actually held up really, really well. And I was very impressed with it. Um, kudos to Dollar Tree for this one because I really like these little pumpkins. You can use them for a ton of things. So uh, those stems were just put in with like a toothpick which uh, gave me an idea that I could also use some toothpicks or I could have used a dowel down through the center of these guys um, to make it stand you know and to stand on its own but I ended up just going with the glue because I, I do like the glue. And I have a thing, evidently, for snowmen and pumpkin men. Now this is one of the uh, skulls that they were selling at the Dollar Tree. And I used a couple of the little tumbling tower toys uh, to make it sit up straight when it's sitting on a flat surface. And I painted it entirely with glow-in-the-dark paint. And this is a trick-or-treat sign I also got from the Dollar Tree that I painted just to make it, you know, very unique and different. So now I found some of the um, tiny little skulls that they had. And these are actually very, very sparkly, glittery skulls. And uh, I took those and I'm using like a, uh, I don't know how to, I would describe it as an awl or something that you could stick through it. And I also got some chenille stems or as Dollar Tree likes to call them, tinsel stems. Ooh. They're called tinsel stems. So I'm just going to, you know, make the hole with the awl up under the chin and through the roof of the skull and then start stringing them up on my uh, tinsel stems so that they can be on there and I'll show you what I'm going to make with them in the end. Um, it took me a little while. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use them for, but I did, you know, enjoy them. They are sparkly, sparkly, and I really wish it would show up on camera, but it just doesn't. So now I'm just going through and poking holes in a lot of the heads that I had. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I love this tool, and I don't know where I got it from, but I'm very happy that I have it. I'm sure I probably stole it from my husband's uh, toolbox. And it's it's a handy dandy little thing so you can see I'm just stringing them down and this these are black chenille stems and they kind of um, they're not soft they're kind of plasticky uh, a little different than your average ones and they sparkle a little too So now I just spent, spent a few minutes kind of getting everything together. You can turn the heads opposite directions 
and you can actually fit more on the stem if you want or you can take more off it just depends on whatever you're looking to do with it super cute super cute I couldn't decide what ribbon that I wanted to use did I want to use the um, spider web ribbon or did I want to use the pumpkin ribbon and I chose the pumpkin ribbon and I also was trying to figure out what I wanted to embellish the pumpkin with and after a lot of debating back and forth and all that kind of good stuff if I can't make up my mind on what I want to do with something I just don't do it so um you know less is more in this case now here are a couple more skulls and i am modeling my pumpkin person after like my snowmen because uh, i love the snowmen and so i'm kind of making it similar to that so what i did was i cut some uh, toothpicks in half and i stuck them in the back of the head in the back of the skull and then I stuck the skull onto the front of my pumpkin and you'll see me doing this in just a second and that is going to serve as like the buttons for the front you know how snowman has buttons but we're doing a pumpkin man I know y'all are probably going my goodness you're doing nothing but Halloween stuff. Well, I'm trying to get a jump on it because all of the stores are coming out with the Halloween goodies right now and you got to get them while you can and if you guys want any chance of doing any of these projects, I have to get to them extra early. So I'm doing this for you. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself anyways. Sounds good, right? So I'm putting the second little button on my pumpkin person. And you can see they're just on there with toothpicks and that is by design because I want to be able to take them off if I want to take them off and do something different and what I mean by that is I can go over all of these pumpkins with like a creamy rich creamy color or uh, a chalk paint or something like that and change the whole look of the pumpkin and change even the ribbon around his little neck and I can make him look very modern farmhouse or farmhouse and then um, by just changing the colors of the pumpkin and then if I want to later on down the road I can actually set him up to look like a snowman I'll just put a hat on top of the pumpkin uh, stem on top and um, I think I have some of those around here somewhere the hats that they had at Dollar Tree a while back their little tiny ones will probably fit this perfectly and I'll be able to use this again for Christmas and that is what I like doing best is I like to do things that I can use more than once um, that don't sit in a corner or in a closet taking up space and adding to something I have to dust so if I can use it in two different ways that is pretty awesome or even three different ways or you know however it however it happens to be so now I am just tied the um, ribbon around the neck of my pumpkin man and I didn't even tie it in a knot because it is wired ribbon I just pulled it and looped it once and you can see it kind of looks like it's got the um, a scarf on which is the same as it would if it were a snow person so the next thing I'm gonna do is finish out my edges on my ribbon and this is important because you don't want flat edges on your ribbon you want to be able to make them have a total finish to them a finished look so all I'm going to do is pull the sides together just like you're seeing me do right now Pull the sides together and then I'm gonna grab my scissors and go from the back and go down the ribbon and that makes it perfectly even and it makes for a perfectly finished edge 
A lot of times the simplest little things you do can be the difference between it looking like it was professionally done or just looking like you made it at home, which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that, but you want it to have that professional look as much as possible. You want it to look store-bought even if it isn't. So please subscribe to this channel and um, hit that like button and share it if you would and leave me a comment too because I can always use your information and your, um, your point of view on our projects. And I would love to see pictures if anybody does the projects and you know show me pictures of what you've done so we can compare. <laughs> So there again, I'm just trying to decide what kind of embellishments I wanted on my pumpkin. And I just, I absolutely could not make up my mind. So the next thing I want to do is I want to start on the face of my pumpkin. And I'm using a permanent chalk marker. And it's just chalk ink. It's, it's not a, you know, it's, it's permanent though. But it's something that I can paint over later. And I chose to do the nose first. I wanted to go ahead and get the nose done because if you place your nose then it's much easier to place your eyes and your mouth in proportion to your nose um, so do the nose first and then go back and do like like I am the mouth and then the eyes and that way everything's spaced like it needs to be um, because I'm not a big person to draw something out and then you know have to erase or whatever to get it right I like to do it right the first time and uh, call it lazy, call it whatever, but I want to make sure everything's proportioned right the first time. And that way I don't have to go back. So now you can see I'm just filling in the uh, mouth part with the black. Another thing you can do if you were to paint these like a, a creamy color or something like that, you can also paint glow-in-the-dark paint on top of that now most glow-in-the-dark paint gives it a greenish kind of hue so uh, remember that but it would be fun my favorite thing to do is to hide glow-in-the-dark somewhere in the crafts that I do glow-in-the-dark and glitter you gotta have both so now I'm just doing a little curl for the eye and this is something you may want to practice on paper first, drawing with a pencil or a pen until you get the hang of it. Um, you know, when you first start out, you might kind of be off a little bit on the circles of, you know, doing the curls. But just do it very slowly and do practice a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this craft and I really do thank you for watching and I do have one more little quick craft in just a second. Um, we're just about done with it. Well, actually we're done with our pumpkin. So I'm going to do one more little thing and this is going to be a candy dish for your uh, Halloween candy if you would like or you could put potato chips or anything else in it. Um, it's just a lot of fun to, to have to go with your decorations. So we've got our face done and like I said I never could make up my mind on what I wanted to embellish with so that is my little pumpkin man I say little he's not that little <laughs> I keep trying to put those bugs on him somewhere but the thing is is that I was like you know with the buttons and everything I really did not want to put anything on it that would be permanent because I plan on painting it later um, a different color and showing you that in a different video so um, I ended up just not putting anything else on him so the next thing I have to do is I took my skulls that I had the little skulls on the stem and I made like a little uh, crown of skulls on top of my pumpkin man 
and also I had a basket this is a, a spider web basket from the Dollar Tree and I had just a square little block of wood sitting around and so I decided to glue it to the top or the bottom in this case of the uh, basket of the spider web basket and you'll see why in just a second so I had two of them and I'm going to use them as a candy dish or a potato chips or something of the sort and it, this comes out absolutely adorable for something that takes like five minutes to do it's amazing so um, I went in and they have you know on the webs there are two spiders one on either side and they actually section this uh, spider web basket in eight sections so it's evenly spaced which is kind of odd but um, I was quite pleased with that because it makes it easier to do what we're gonna be doing and I would have had another project for you but I have somehow misplaced my fishing line and I can't find it and when I do I will record that one and get it on here for you So I'm just turning the basket up right side up and I would, you know, pretend like I'm putting stuff in the basket, candy or whatever, except, you know, with me it's skulls and spiders and it makes a little pumpkin candy dish. And it comes out really, really cute. Um, the baskets fit perfectly together and it's, it's almost like it's clawed together and so it's it's really good fit and everything now I'm going to add a couple of leaves to my uh, spiderweb basket so I can have leaves on my pumpkin please subscribe hit that share button hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos because I have videos coming out every week and I hope that you are going to join me and making my crafts and I really want to see some of the stuff you guys are doing and let me know what you think about these crafts I had to put my little pink silicone fingertip on. I got that also at the Dollar Tree and I will give you a tip on that. Um, what I had to do because of my fingers um, are not as long as that, but I cut the end piece off of the little pink silicone fingertip and that made it fit a whole lot better. So you can see now my finished pumpkin took me no time at all absolutely none and this right here is one that I actually painted with uh, I believe I used the Dixie Belle white cotton on it and um, I ended up going back and using a cream colored spray for some other and I'll show you those later I'm going to record them so now I'm taking my chenille stem I'm just going to wrap it around this pin that I had and uh, make a little piece of vine and glue it onto the pumpkin top So I just wanted to show you an example of what it looked like when it was painted that um, the, the lighter color and you'll see that with the pumpkins as well when I paint them also. And see how stinking cute that is? I would have never thought that that was so cute. Just going back in with my permanent chalk marker and filling in the coloring on the spiders that are on there so they stand out a little bit more I have so many spiders out right now you would think it's Halloween outside we have tons and tons of banana spiders and uh, which are golden orb weavers and I do have the smaller golden orb weavers as well last night I walked out my front door to let the dogs out 
and uh, wouldn't you know I ran slap into a web and I think I hurt the spider's feelings so bad she didn't build a web at all last night so tonight I went out and she was building a web just to the side so that I could actually walk down the sidewalk and um, not disturb her web which I thought was rather amusing I hope you enjoyed this quick little craft. It was uh, came out much cuter than I really even thought it would. My house is going to be kicking for Halloween. I got the best decorations. And you know, with the decorations and stuff, I do inexpensive decorations and I make them look custom. And that's what I like to do is making them look custom is the most important thing. Not having what everybody else has or making it look better than what everybody else has. Um, that's what it's all about. Please like and share and hit that notification bell subscribe all the good stuff for my ID Creates channel. This is Deanna Carroll and I'm very glad you joined me. You can also join me on Facebook. You can look at my links that are below this video and find me at the different places of, you know, Facebook and uh, Pinterest and YouTube and all the all the socials except for Twitter. I really don't like Twitter. I don't know why, but I just don't. Anyways, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And it's pretty adorable. Pretty stinking cute. So if you stay tuned for just a minute or two more, you can see the end final product pictures. And it always looks better when you can see the final product pictures. Um, I didn't do a whole lot because we do have a couple of hurricanes going on. So I wasn't able to really do photographs outside, which is what I usually like to do. But um, hopefully we'll be done with that soon. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Hi, did you click that subscribe button and the notification bell? Well, if you don't hit that notification bell, you will miss out on our Thursday videos. So please go ahead, click it, and you'll be able to watch our videos that are coming up.